Hello, I'm pleased to present the annual report for 2015-2016. Like the annual plan, the annual report is one of the most important documents that we produce. It's how we report back to you on the many things that we've done on your behalf. And here's a snapshot of some of the work we have completed. We maintained a total of 112 public open spaces, including numerous sports grounds, cemeteries, walking trails, parks and reserves. We collected more than 20,000 tonnes of garbage and recyclables from the curbside. And we looked at potential stormwater collection and reuse options to reduce the cost of irrigation. We approved 188 planning applications worth an estimated $89 million. We finalised the Devonport Interim Planning Scheme and we contributed to statewide discussions around the proposed introduction of a new single Tasmanian planning scheme. We finalised the plans, permits, funding model and construction tender for Stage 1 of Living City, commencing on-site works in June 2016. We updated Council's tree management policy and commenced reviewing Council's asset management plans. We completed condition assessments of all Council building assets. We commenced development of a new city stormwater connection policy and completed hydraulic modelling of the Chinaman's Creek catchment, the largest catchment in Devonport. We consulted with the community about the city's future parking requirements, leading to an updated Devonport parking strategy. We celebrated the relaunch of the Mersey River Ferry, the spirit of Devonport. A Devonport Community Live and Learn strategy was developed to help our city capitalise on the learning opportunities we have available and to develop Devonport as a place to live and learn. The Devonport Entertainment and Convention Centre hosted a diverse range of performances enjoyed by around 28,000 patrons. We engaged the community on a proposed creation of a new contemporary arts precinct and commenced planning for the future integration of the Devonport Regional Gallery with the Devonport Entertainment Centre. Over 48,000 people came through the doors of the Devonport Visitor Information Centre. We welcomed over 20,000 people, held 15 exhibitions and hosted 128 workshops and events at the Devonport Regional Gallery. We opened a new dog exercise park and updated our dog management policy. We celebrated the 20th anniversary of our sister city relationship with Minamata City by sending a community delegation to Japan and planting 20 cherry blossoms along the river foreshore. We developed a community health and wellbeing program and introduced new fitness classes for mums and youth and a school holiday sports program. Okay. Council approved the transfer of the Teagara Aboriginal Cultural Centre to the Six Rivers Aboriginal Corporation. We celebrated with a diverse range of citywide events, including the Devonport Food and Wine Festival, Skyfire New Year's Eve and the Devonport Jazz Festival. And we celebrated our city's maritime heritage, welcoming over 9,000 visitors to the Bass Strait Maritime Centre and hosting over 600 passengers on the Geordie Burgess. We implemented all of the recommendations from our Public Liability Insurer Audit and completed a gap analysis of Council's health and safety system. We won a WorkSafe Tasmania Award for the development of a hydraulic pin lifting device. This helps the crew to more safely change signposts in their daily work. During the year we reviewed the format of Council's financial management reports to improve the information we provide to the community. We recognised the achievements of our community and welcomed 11 new citizens to Devonport in an Australia Day Citizenship and Awards Ceremony. And Council's customer service team served over 46,000 customers. We also launched a new website and introduced a new customer service charter to help us better serve our ratepayers and residents. Engaging with our community is a priority for Council. We continue to give our residents a say on important matters and encourage you to share your thoughts, 
as part of our community consultation or through our Facebook page. The annual report for 2015-16 is now available on Council website. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. It is part of our commitment to keeping you informed about the things we're doing for our community.